Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a long sleeve liquid dye. As always, decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, give it a little pinch, and then for this one we're using the microwave splatter guard that I did get off of Amazon, and there's a link for it down below in the description box. And then we're going to take the hemostat and click it down on the first click. It does not need to be over tightened. You don't want to tear a hole in your fabric. And then you just begin to spiral it up. And with your opposite hand, create the pleats and use that hand to actually make the spiral. Now unclamp your hemostat and gently wiggle it out while you hold down the center of the spiral. If you're new to tie dyeing, don't be afraid of long sleeves. Long sleeves actually are quite helpful. They help tidy everything up. Look at how quickly I'm able to add the rubber bands. I like to use a washable marker to mark out my pattern. Notice how the center of the spiral isn't directly in the middle of the shirt, so the pie pieces are all different shapes. And now I'm going to start by using thick water. And I do have a tutorial on how to mix thick water. And I'm using that as a placeholder because I want a definite white stripe in this particular shirt. I like to add my thick water to both sides. That way when I start adding the dye, all of the fabric that I want to stay white is already fully saturated with that thick water. I'm also starting out this project by using thickened raven black. I don't want the black to take over on the shirt. Like I said, I definitely want to keep a white line in this project. So I'm using the thickened raven black to mark out my perimeter. And then I'm going to go back in and fill in with regular raven black. The thing about raven black is it's already pretty much a thickened dye because it takes the eight teaspoons to achieve one cup. However, I even went a step further with some of it and I added the sodium alginate to make it even thicker. I don't like messes, especially if I'm trying to protect white. So having those Clorox wipes right there next to me are a very handy thing and I highly recommend it. I made this shirt a couple of weeks ago, so I'm editing it and I'm looking at my dye placement and I'm wondering what was I doing? Why didn't I finish with the strong navy? And I think my thought process was that I wanted to let the strong navy have a chance to sort of seep down and creep out um, because I'm adding the dye in a way that I normally don't. I usually finish each pie piece. 
Um, so I'm just trying to explain away why it looks so different. But the whole goal of this, and I said it earlier, is I want to keep that white pie piece. So I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm just going to be quiet and let you watch me add the dye. Now I'm just going to go over my colors and make sure that they're really well saturated. The only white I want on this shirt is in those two pie pieces. I let the shirt rest for about 10 minutes and came back to flip it over and I wasn't prepared. I didn't have my rack ready. so. Be prepared, that way you don't look like this when you're flipping your shirt. And now you just wanna repeat what you did on the top side, on the back side. And I know that I already added the thickened water the first time, but I'm just adding a little bit more for good measure. We have a couple minutes right here, so I'm just gonna talk away. So some of you may have noticed that I have changed my thumbnail and I don't know, whatever you would call it, um, to something different. And I'm just gonna give you a little explanation as to why. Um, first of all, Stephanie means the crowned one or a crown or garland. And a while back, a viewer, Josh, he said, if I was going to describe your channel to somebody, I would say, you know, um, Steph, the spiral queen. I do love making spirals, that is true. Spirals are just so much fun because you can really play around with the colors and you know I'm learning about the colors and what works well together and they're quick and easy to make and they look good. And then when I very first started Bo had given me a little journal and it, on the front of it it has a crown. And so it was all coming together when I was thinking about a brand you know if I was going to make a t-shirt that people could get and they could dye with my belladonna dyes on it you know what would I want on there and I thought it all just makes sense Stephanie means the crowned one Josh said you're the spiral queen um, the little book everything was just leaning towards a crown and then the stars of the rainbow because I love rainbows and then pink glitter well who doesn't love pink glitter right so anyways I do really thank all of you that tune in regularly and watch and leave me comments I really do appreciate you guys, and if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you too, and please subscribe and help the channel grow so the content can get out there and reach other dyers looking to learn. So thanks again, everybody. The saturation looks pretty good, so I'm going to cover it, and then I'm going to wrap it in the electric blanket like I told you guys about and batch it for 48 hours. I want this to be the best spiral that I've made yet because it's going to my nephew. It's been 48 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. And look, the white stayed white. Thick and water really works. So you wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any of the soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers, especially in that white area because you don't want any of the darker dyes redepositing onto the white. And then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs basically as clear as possible. And then take it to the washing machine and do a hot water cycle. And then I like to do two hot water cycles using Synthropol, get all that dye out. And what I do is I take a little clear cup on the second hot water cycle 
And if I see any dye in the water, if it's still dark, I'll do a third hot water cycle if I have to. You wanna get all of that dye out. And then I like to use Millsoft, which brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I get both of those from Dharma Trading Company. And I really do like Millsoft. And this is my first time using a Port & Company long sleeve shirt. And I'll tell you guys, they are really nice shirts. They're more expensive, but they're definitely worth it. And then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our long sleeve spiral after it's been washed and dried. And I think it turned out amazing. I'm very pleased with this shirt. And I'm not going to lie to you. Um, these are enhanced photographs because long sleeves are very hard to photograph. I had to stand up on a step stool and like I'm 10 feet away from the whole shirt. So I had to enhance it a little bit because the picture looked terrible. This is also a little bit dark, but this is maybe a closer representation to what it actually looks like in real life. Um, the white did end up getting a little bit dingy um, from the colors fading in on it, but it's still pretty white and I'm happy with it. And I think the spiral looks great. So what do you guys think of this spiral? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.